Freddie, I knew you wanted to be a singing nigga this whole time. You just had to drop about five or six gangster ass projects to cover it up. I mean, I get you. I see what you're doing, but like, yo, your time is now, nigga. Your time is now. What's going on, everybody? It's the granddad of granddad, Wooly, and you are here again for another edition of Wooly Reviews, Hip Hop Data. We got an album review today. We're going to talk about the brand new album that just fucking dropped from one of my favorite MCs in the game right now, straight out of my backyard of 219, who just dropped some shit that ain't the shit we thought he was going to be dropping, Bandana. But it's all good because, I mean, good shit is good shit, and new shit is new shit, even if it's not the new shit that we won't get. Good. When you gonna drop Bandana, nigga? Tell Madlib to hurry up with that. If it ain't you, it's him. If it ain't him, it's you. Y'all niggas stop playing around. But it's all good. We gonna talk about this shit. This nigga's back. He dropped some new shit. Freddie pinned the grass on that ass. Talking about the new album from Freddie Gibbs entitled Freddie. Like, look at this cover. This shit is immaculate like shit. For those who know who Teddy Pendergrass is, look up Teddy Pendergrass, Teddy. And like, shh. Almost spot on. Almost fucking spot on. For those who don't know, Freddie Gibbs is a dope-ass rapper from the 219 Gary, Indiana. Same place as your boy. And he's been doing this thing for many, many years. And he is most notably known for his collaboration with Matt Lib, Pinata, which was dope as fuck. A classic. And he's also dropped other dope projects like Shadow of a Doubt. And then he also did uh, You Only Live Twice when he got back when he beat that case that was bogus about the sexual assault shit. We know he ain't do that shit. They fucking crazy over in Europe. But now he's back in full effect with a new project that he's dropped out of nowhere like everybody else is doing so now let's see if freddy is a dope ass album that'll hold us over until the real dope ass album that we've been waiting for drops or if sometimes you know this nigga just wants to be a singing nigga i mean look at the suit with the little pocket shit and like this motherfucker's ready to sing like i don't know what the fuck he's doing but no, i kind of fuck with it i fuck with it Let's talk about the shit. Now, when I first popped in this album and I tuned into production, I thought we was gonna get some singing nigga shit, some smooth grooves and some vibes to make you wanna make love to your lady, but we just got hard ass gangster shit that Freddie be doing all the time. But yo, the beats on here seem to be more gangster, more hard hitting, more crazy than just usual. Like the beats on this motherfucking project are so fucking gritty and dope and grimy and just makes you wanna do fucking illegal shit but at the same time stay in your car because that's what a knock is. It's just so fucking dope and it's perfect for Freddie's flow, his style, his delivery. The beats on here are all fucking amazing. I love every beat on here. It's just so hard hitting and gritty and dope and gangster and it just, it's, it, it's Freddie Gibbs to the T on the production and it just sounds so goddamn good. And most of the beats on here are done by somebody by the name of Kenny Beats. I don't know who Kenny Beats is, but that motherfucker Kenny got beats. But he's also got Dupree on here, Instrumentals with an E, uh, Adrian Lau, okay, uh, Rich Gaines, Skinny, and Tony Seltzer. And they all come through and give this well-layered, hard-hitting, like, trap, dope boy, like, just influenced beats that are just fucking gritty and just, like, god Damn, they're fucking filthy dope. And when it comes to Freddie Gibbs himself, Freddie seems to have like a new like lease on life, 100% like after all the bullshit he went through and his last project, which I felt was a bit underwhelming for Freddie. It wasn't like garbage, but I felt like he was still in that transition of getting back to speed with his whole rapping and just getting back into just normal life. But I feel like on this project, Freddie is 100% back and he is better than ever. Like his flow, his confidence, the way he delivers his shit is just 100% on point. Freddie Gibbs, like I've always known Freddie Gibbs was a dope ass rapper, but he's literally one of the most underrated rappers in the game right now. Freddie is just so on point with everything from his bars to his delivery to the way he just has his voice inflections on things. It's just like, like he just can do no wrong on this project and every beat he just attacks with 100% ferocity and just kills it 100%. He's giving us those dope boy bars. He's giving us those gangsta Gibbs bars. He's just giving us everything that we loved about Freddie Gibbs and we didn't get from You Only Live Twice. He came back and doubled down 100% on Freddie and it just sounds so goddamn fire. And when it comes to features on this album, there really isn't that many features on here which is dope because it's a relatively short project. It's only 24 minutes long even though it does have 10 songs on here but the songs are all pretty much short as fuck but the features he did get on here did come through and do their thing he got 03 Greedo who I wasn't too familiar with but I know he's about to do 20 years in the pen but the motherfucker came through and did his thing he also has a singing feature on the last track of uh, Casey Joe Craig I believe and also his daughter Irie Jane Gibbs is on here as well so he doesn't have many features like I said he's pretty much taking care of the entire project which I like and he does it so fucking well 
Freddie Gibbs comes through and he just gives us pretty much the best Freddie Gibbs project, I personally have to say, since Pinata, which is really a hard thing to really do because he's dropped projects here and there, but I think this is his most hungriest, most ambitious, most focused project we've gotten. And if he sounds like this on here, I can only imagine how this motherfucker's gonna sound when Bandana drops. Now you know I gotta give you my top five tracks, y'all, and God damn it, this was difficult, y'all, because I love every record on this motherfucking project. This shit is so fucking dope, y'all. It gets better and better in every fucking... Ugh. But yo, I got it. I got it. Here are my top five. So it's Wait, Automatic, Death Row, Too Legit, and Toe Tag. All right? So let's just go back. So basically, let me just summarize. All these songs are dope boy Gangsta Gibbs bangers. It's no frills, no flash, no concept. It's just Freddie Gibbs hitting you over the head. One song after the other with just hard ass fucking bars and beats. But the thing I have to say is, on the first track, Wait, it sets the tone so well. The beat on here has this very like eerie like synth on here, and then it comes in with this just trunk knocking, rattling bass that just makes your face go like, God damn, and it just gets a little bounce to the beat, and it's just so fucking dope. And then pretty much Gibbs is just saying like, yo, everything was worth the wait. The pussy was worth the wait. He gonna make us wait for the bandana shit. That's what he's saying. He low-key saying that shit. I'm gonna make him wait. He's also talking about pushing weight. He might be talking about losing weight. I don't know. It's all about the weight shit and it's fucking dope and like I couldn't wait to just hear the rest of this project after this intro because it just set the tone so well and it's just a hard ass intro and it's just fucking dope as fuck. It then goes into the song Automatic and it's just keeping that momentum but the beat on here is so fucking dope. I don't know what the fuck a sound is. It's like this, it's like some weird ass like horror like sound. I don't know what the fuck it is but it's fucking dope but again when the bass and the beat comes in it just like brings this like dope ass gangster bounce to it that just sounds so good and Freddie's flow just bounces with the beat and just rides it so fucking smooth. It's like he's like he does it just automatically. It's just oh so automatic for him to just be this fucking dope and just kill this fucking beat and I just love the vibe of it. It carries over that same energy as the first track but just gives it a different more gangster sinister tone and it just God damn, this project is so fucking fire, y'all. And then we get into the next song, Death Row featuring O3 Garrido, and this is a pretty much a sample of Boys in the Hood, and it just comes off so goddamn well. And Gibbs and O3 Garrido just come through with that gangster shit, and I like O3 Garrido's verse. He comes in with an easy e like homage with his verse. We say, like, cruising down the street in my, I forget that, my new song, I forget, but he just, he, he starts off with the cruising in my street, and he just flows over the beat well. He even sounds like Easy a little bit in his voice, which is really dope, but this song in general is just fucking dope as hell hard hitting i love the boys in the hood sample and it just like god it just keeps going it gets better and fucking better god damn it freddy i wasn't ready and then we get too legit and the song is just too legit to quit like i mean i want to quit listening but i can't because it's so fire beat hits hard as fuck Freddie comes in with just the fucking legit ass bars and fucking gangsta Gibbs style that he's just been doing over and over on each song. It's just the momentum of this project has just not died down. It just gets better and better and it just keeps holding on to that gangsta hard hitting grit. And this song here is no different. It's a legit banger. I love this fucking track. I, I got nothing else. I mean, shit, it's all of them are the same, y'all. It's just bangers, 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 bangers. And then the last song is Toe Tag, and it's pretty much just Freddie Gibbs talking about killing niggas. He killing niggas on the fucking beat, on everything, and everything, and... Br like, why do I have to keep reiterating this? The fucking project is fire. Toe Tags are being issued to every motherfucker in sight because Gibbs is just killing it up, down, left, and fucking right. Bars, nigga. Bars. And that's my top five, y'all. But this cover don't lie. Freddy does get into some singing nigga shit in a hilarious fucking interlude called Feeling Like Fucking Me FLFM that I just gotta talk about. The motherfucker, like, yo, you know this motherfucker deep down wants to be a singer. He's like, Feeling Like Fucking Me. He feels it in his soul. And it's hilarious. This shit is fucking so funny. But he be trying to hit some real notes and shit. And low key, he kind of killing it. Like, terribly, but he's still killing it. And it just like shows like that Freddy has like. Even still, even through all this gangster shit, he has sort of a lighthearted side to him, and he can still just like pull off anything, and it still comes off dope. So this whole fucking project, y'all, is just fucking fire. I, I wasn't expecting this shit to be so goddamn good because I was kind of disappointed when he dropped the project that it wasn't Bandana. I'm like, okay, this is another filler project until Bandana. But no, this ain't no filler shit. This is some fucking fire ass shit to hold us off until Bandana. And if, like I said, if this shit is what we got from this, I can only imagine what him and Madlib got ready for us. So my final verdict, I'm not saying that Freddie Gibbs Freddie is a fire ass, dope ass album to hold us off until Bandana drops. All I'm saying is that the beats on here are crazy. Hard hitting, gangster, gritty beats that just make you just want to say, God damn, this shit is fire. And Freddie, 
He comes through with a new revitalized double down confidence and style that's just like reminiscent of this like early hungry Freddie Gibbs. This motherfucker's just killing it on every fucking record and I just love everything he did on this project from top to bottom and this is a non-skippable record for me. I love everything about it. I love the vibe. I love the sound. I love the style. I love the fucking cover. Everything about this shit is just fucking perfect and immaculate and it's just like it's got me even more hyped for Bandana. So all I gotta say is that for me Freddie Gibbs, Freddie is 100% Granddad approved. Go listen to this project. Go listen to this album. This shit is fucking fire. If you're a Freddie Gibbs fan, listen to this because you're going to love it. If you're not a Freddie Gibbs fan, you fuck it up. Listen to this shit and it will turn you into a Freddie Gibbs fan because this shit is 100% pure, unadulterated, low-key, singing nigga fire. But I got nothing more to say. Freddie Gibbs. Freddy is granddad approved, so go listen to the shit right now, and then go listen to some Teddy P to cool it on down. Flip it. Alright y'all, that's gonna do it for today's video. Make sure you give me a thumbs up and drop a comment. Tell me what you think of Freddy Gibbs. Freddy, if you've heard it, if you have not heard it, you are fucking up. Listen to this project because it is 100% pure fire. Freddy snuck one in on us and I can't believe that this shit was so goddamn dope. Like, I'm still waiting for Bandana, but goddamn it, I'm happy that we got this first because it just makes me more hype for that project. But yo, check it out. Freddie killing it. Previous videos on the side was my latest single. Check that out. Show us some love. And as always, Twitter, Facebook, SoundCloud, Instagram. Links in the description below. And subscribe. Button on the screen. Button below. Google reviews twice a week as well as the gaming channel, gaming videos. Uh, let's talk about the shit. All that shit. Info below. Make sure you hit that notification button when I drop new shit. And I got nothing more to say. So until next time, I'm going to take my leave. Granddaughter. Freddie Gibbs. Freddie. This shit is fucking fire. This shit makes me low-key want to be a singing nigga. I... I can't do it, y'all. Y'all heard me sing on these videos. I can't do that shit, but goddammit, if Freddie can do it, I can too, right? Okay, maybe I'll just do a cover like this, all right? Because that shit's fire. That shit's fucking dope. I'm out of here.